Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and um, this is Bergen Boxing. Got this in the mail. Must be a combination of Bergen Boxing, Bergen Bagging, actually, and uh, Cleaning Progress and Car News and all of that. All right, this is my replacement anchor cable. And I can't read this. I don't know what it says. I'm going to the doctor Friday and raise hell that I still can't see small print unless it's magnified, which I should be able to see. They need to redo the stupid operation. So this is the 10, 10 inch anchor cable. And the great thing about anchor, of course, they have a, I paid for this. They have a lifetime warranty on their cables. They replaced them. And I told them, I don't know how you afford to do this. Because my cable, it's frayed. So they give me a little card. About happy, which I can't read. And they give me a little case. And somewhere in here, in here is the cable I bought, which I can't find. So there's where I'm going to save this one. I'm going to glue the ends of that. I'll s save this one for alien. So, so, I have a good working cable when I go down there. So, uh, I'm going to keep the box and the paperwork. And I'll go to the other And then next month I'm going to buy another cable. So, I'm sure I have a cable. And this is what happened to this one. The rubber is... Oops, sorry, my thumb got in the way. The rubber is breaking. Now, that probably could be glued if I'm careful, but it's breaking on both sides. And they said, well, we'll just replace it. So that's when you pay 20 bucks for this 10 foot cable for the Apple iPad or the iPhone. Um, that's what they give you. And by the way, this is the box I emptied out. I threw out six of those plus a whole bag of paper. I'm saving one bag for paper trash. And, where is it? This is now empty. I went through a whole bunch of laundry that I thought was clean, and it was clean, but the washer here is not strong enough to clean socks and stuff, so I have to re-clean it, and I'll have my caregiver take me down to the laundromat next month, so it's all in the laundry hamper. And we did not get a car, thank you Art Bell Fan 4 for sending me the news, but once again, the guy flaked on us. He wanted 4000 I offered him 3800 he was in Newark about 60 miles away. He accepted, I said, well can you come to Pittsburgh, it would be a real hassle for us to go to Newark, but we can meet with Bart, this is uh, more stuff to go through. And uh, he said, no, that's too far for me to go. I said, all right, call my girlfriend, and we will arrange a meet at Bart. And he never, and I said, please give me your number or call me. He never gave either. And uh, here goes my mail phone before. And then he wrote me back saying, I've accepted another offer. Thank you for looking. So, so much for someone's word. Uh... If you make an offer and acceptance, you should keep by the offer. But I guess everybody is not old school like I, who keeps their word when they agree to a deal. So we didn't get a card. And to top it off, I went through insurance company hell today and got told by, uh, I forgot the insurance company right now. That Kathy has points in her record for the truck she backed into and then an accident that wasn't her fault. Although this guy said, State Farm says it's 51% 51 her, 51 her fault. She got hit by a car while at a stoplight. She, the light turned green, she went forward, she never made it across the intersection and the guy hit the driver's side right at the door and crushed everything from the driver, the woman, I mean, not the guy, crushed everything from the driver's side door all the way to the back door. The entire car was crushed. He hit her doing 60, pulled over, 
excuse my language, said, rolled down the window and said, fuck you, it's your fault, and drove off. And there were three women there, including Kathy. One of them had a cell phone. None of them thought the, uh, the woman with the cell phone did not think about, let's take the picture of the license plate. So the woman got away free, and they paid the car dealer where we were paying for the car. With We had just arranged to make the last payment of $240 a month for a $4,200 car. It would have been ours free and clear, and it was total. And they gave the car dealer the money. For the, I think we... I think we might have owed them two payments. I don't remember. It's been so long ago. But according to this guy at this other insurance company, he said that Kathy had po a point on record for that accident. It was considered her fault because she had property damage in the accident. So they blamed her for the accident. So I, with a great deal of work, I called State Farm, the original agent in Concord, and she, the lady looked it up and looked through the claims and looked through the history of that account and said, nope. Not Kathy's fault. Uh, this guy read it wrong or something. You need to go to the DMV, get a copy of your driving record. And if that's on there in error, get a hold of our claims department and get them to remove that. But that's jacking up the price of Kathy's insurance. Now, the other accident where she backed into the white pickup at the post office, that shouldn't have been there because he was speeding. That will go off her record in September. But then this agent also told me that uh, the DMV having a pointing record and the insurance company having a pointing record are two different things. Two different things. Insurance company look at what's been paid out in your policy, even though you're not at fault, and they base their rates accordingly. And I said that's ridiculous. Someone hits your car and they penalize you and charge you a higher rate. When you didn't have anything to do about it, you were driving legally and obeying all the rules, and you get screwed by the insurance company. So this is the state of insurance in California. And I got an estimate from the general, because they have Shaquille O'Neal driving around a little car with a cartoon general with six stars or eight stars. He's got almost more stars than, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, what's his name now? I've, now I've forgotten the name. Um, J.C. <laughs> on Coast to Coast AM. He's got like eight stars. He drives a little cartoon car, and Shaquille O'Neal was riding around with him. I didn't know it was Shaquille O'Neal. I called the company, and said, this is Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, that's who that is. So, because I can't see who it is. And um, they quoted me uh, $2,400 a year for two, for $250 down. 2000 a year for $500 down their racket now. We no longer take monthly payments. We want six months in advance and then another six months in advance, two, two months later. I said, are you crazy? Where would we get the kind of money? So I called up uh, Nationwide. I called up another insurance company and then the fourth insurance company. Oh, I called State Farm. They wanted $206 a month to insure us when before the accident we were paying 80. So, and that was comp collision and uninsured motors. And the fourth agency I called said, oh, we only pay $3,500 and it's medical only if someone hits your car with no insurance. You get the replacement value off the comp and collision. So I'm going like, I gotta be a lawyer to figure all this stuff out. Even I who know this stuff better than Kathy and going like um, my head is spinning by the time I was done with the fifth phone call. So this is the state of insurance that it's absolutely insane. Of course, uh, due to Jerry Brown, insurance rates are shooting through the roof too and our state legislature. So no free is for us. And Kathy went and mournfully said, I have to wait till September. And I said, well, it might be better to save the money until all this stuff gets straightened out and it goes off your record, and then you won't get a huge insurance rate. And of course, I'll be paying for half of that since my name will be on the car because I have the handicap placard, and uh, she has to drive me around, and she's with me more than not because uh, every time she comes down here, she stops and let's go out, okay, and she'll take me shopping too. And my caregiver had a problem. His radiator hose blew, so he's literally stranded by the road somewhere, unable to drive the car. So tomorrow I go to Heap if he shows up and 
turn the paperwork in that I forgot about on Monday because I forgot my pg and &E bill. So, and Kathy's handicapped too, so she uh, she has back issues and spur curvature of her spine at birth and other things. So, and she will be 62 in June. And she said, "Well, should I get senior rates?" I said, "Yeah, but they look more at accents than your age, I guess. I don't know what it is." If anybody understands this, drop me an email at falky2013 at gmail.com and maybe Lucy can explain it to me because I don't understand Lucy. All right, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great day. Stay warm or dry or cool and definitely stay safe out there. And maybe it's safer to just stay home and not go out the road at all if you have to. Have somebody deliver your food, your your supplies, your your cat litter, your dog food, your your whatever you got. <laughs> Don't leave the house. It ain't safe out there because your wallet will pay the price. All right. Have a good evening. Bye bye for now. This is the guy from Pittsburgh.